so far we have already studied about uh, how to run SQL queries like update, insertion and deletion uh, on our database. In this tutorial we are going to study how we can actually uh, display the records of a table in the console. Right, so we are going to retrieve the all the rows of our table which was in our database CRUD. So let me show you the table. So here you can see that we have created a students table in the CRUD database and it has these two rows. Now what we are going to do is we are going to implement a, a method or we are going to implement a code in our Java application which will which will just uh, retrieve these two rows and it will display them in the console. In order to do so, you can see here that uh, these rows are basically result sets. So if we want to display something uh, or if we want to display the number of rows or we want to display the all the records in the uh, console we will have to use a result set class so you can see here what I have done I have created a SQL statement here which basically retrieves retrieves records from the table right so using this SQL statement select we are actually selecting the columns name and marks from table students and when you will retrieve uh, all the rows we will have to store all the rows which we will call here as mm, the result set so let me first create a an object of result set class and initialize it as null so we have created uh, an object of this result set class so let's take a look at what this class actually does and what are the functions that it supports right so result set uh, uh, java dot sql dot result set so here you can see that a table of data representing a database result set which is basically the number of rows so which is usually generated by executing a statement that queries the database so in our case the statement will be the select statement so a result set object will maintain a cursor pointing to its current row of data since we have many rows in a table we must have some cursor that should point some specific row right so that we can display that particular row using that cursor pointer and basically the dot next function is used to return the cursor to a particular row so initially the cursor is pointed before the first row so initially it is not pointing to the first row so we will have to call the dot next function which is the next method so that it moves to our first row and because it returns false when there are no more rows it can be used in a while loop to iterate through the result set so we will call the dot ne next function and it basically uh, do two things one is to move the cursor to the next row and it also returns a boolean a true or false if there are rows in the column or not so we, we will use this dot next method inside a while loop to iterate through the result set which is the rows so we will iterate through the rows and while iterating we will also display the contents of th those rows right so you can see here uh, he has created a, a result set object rs and it has it is assigned to this statement dot execute query so we will do that and you can see that uh, there are some more things that it provides you can even update a particular column 
you can even do some insertion so if you want to see that uh, just hover on this result set keyword and you can get to know what it provides so now let's initialize the results as statement dot execute query sql right so now we have assigned uh, the rows in the result object uh, in the results object and uh, let's check whether uh, first we will check whether uh, the table has rows in it or not and we know that we can use the dot next function to check whether it has rows or if a table is empty right so since it will return a boolean value we are going to mark it as boolean records let us name it as records and then we are going to assign it as results dot next method which moves the cursor to the next column so we know that initially it was pointing to uh, it was pointing before the first row so that's why we are uh, the next uh, when we are calling this next function it will move the cursor to the first row and if the first row uh, does not exist it is going to make records as false right so i'm going to write here moves cursor to the next row and uh, returns a boolean value right so now what i'm just going to do is if the records is true right so i'm going to make it like this and here i'm going to display system dot out dot print line so if the records return a false object what i will do is i will just display that there are no rows in the table no rows in the table right and if there are no rows in the table we are going to exit like this so we have done uh, now uh, we will retrieve the rows and display it in the console so now we are going to display rows in the console in order to do so we are going to uh, use a do while loop which will loop through all the rows by using the results dot next function to move the cursor to the next row right so our while loop will run until and unless the results dot next function becomes false so now in this uh, do while loop every time uh, uh, you will move a cursor so you can see that first we will have to move the cursor to the first row then only we can run this do while loop because the dot next uh, because initially the cursor is pointing to uh, before the first row right so let's display the results in the using this in the do part so I know that there are two columns the name column and age so I will display the name and since age is of integer type I will create two variables string name and age now in the do part I'm going to assign the name as results dot get string so you can see that here is a get string function and since we want to um, return 
the column index is using the column index we are going to use this one so we know that the uh, the name is stored in the first column so i'm going to write here one so basically get string function is used to get contents of the column index right so you will just specify the index of the column as one two three and then you will be able to uh, get uh, the value stored inside that column uh, and we can see that the dot net function the dot next function will point to a particular row so it will basically point to a particular row and then we can retrieve the contents of the column of that specific row using results dot get string and since then this function will return a string it will store it in the name field similarly i will if you want to retrieve some integer value you can use results dot get int function and then specify the column index like this so now uh, we we will display records so to display the records we will just use the system dot out dot line command and here I will just append the name and should be capital here then again we are going to do the same but this should be age now right so we are going to uh, we are just displaying the values that we have got from the by using this get string function it will append the values to the name and age and then we will display it here and after every row we are going to make a print line statement which will just create an which will just break the line so we have now created uh, this whole method to uh, display and to retrieve records from a table so after that we will just we will just close the statement like this right so now let's run this program and see what will be the output of this program but here i can see some errors so let's first remove them so it says syntax error on this one right so after this try we will have to write one more so now we have removed all the errors so let's run the program and see whether it displays the table in the console So you can see here uh, it says thinkx92. So there is here is some data display error. You can see that the second row is not uh, displayed. So let's remove that error first. So the error was in this line. You can see that uh, we have closed the statement uh, in the 
uh, first row only so the next row will not get displayed because we have closed the statement in the do part so we will have to write it after the, the do while part right so let's now run this program again and see the output So you can see that now it is displaying all the rows correctly. So uh, we have now succeeded in displaying our data from the table and you can uh, as a summary I can just say that we are just using this result set uh, class to just retrieve the results or the rows from the from our table and then we are going to just use the next uh, function or the next method to move the cursor to the next row and return a boolean value and then we will just create a do while loop and in the while part we will just write results dot next and this value will return true uh, if the, the next row exists and so the cursor will move from one row to the another and as moving from one row to the another row it will display the results or the values stored at the column which has index value as 1 2 and then we are just going to close the statement so remember that you will have to close the statement after the while part and then uh, we will just run the program and we will get the desired output so this is the last tutorial for the JDBC uh, and MySQL so thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe and like our video.